Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out a product called the Grid Guard, which claims to deal with one of the biggest problems people have with rodents, and that is mice, rats, and squirrels climbing into your vehicles, such as a motorhome, a boat, a truck, a car, even tractors, and they can do so much damage. I had this problem last year where a rodent climbed under the hood of my truck. It chewed a bunch of wires, causing the engine not to start. Also, it made a nest out of the firewall. It pulled it down. That can be very expensive. Well, what I have here is an electrified panel. It's part of a system called the grid guard. You set it up around the vehicle and it basically makes an electrified force field. You can also use this around a garbage area, any place you don't want rodents to cross. Now what we have here are these panels that lock together. They come in several boxes and you can make a full perimeter around your vehicle. There's also a system here where you can put this on the edge to drive over it. There's wires and right here, this is the power source, the electrifier. So if you want to learn more about the grid guard system, especially anything you want to know about the technical aspect of setup and installation, how the panel snap together, how to electrify it, make sure you check out the video in the description. I'll also put a link to their website there. They answer many different questions, including pricing and different packages. So how am I going to test this product out? I could set it up around my vehicle, but I set up the motion cameras and currently I don't have a major problem in my driveway. If the vehicle sets for any amount of time, it becomes a problem. But right now I'm going to test it out instead by protecting this vehicle. Well, here's the test I set up for the grid guard. We have a small square protecting our toy car. And in the center, I placed bait, some sunflower seeds. Normally you'd never want to draw them in, but I'm very curious how the mice and rats are going to interact with the system. On the first night, I'm not going to plug it in. They're going to get used to crossing it and going and eating the food. Then on the second night, I will plug it in and see how they interact. They may be able to sense the electricity and not even go on it. Or if they do, they might receive a shock and then they'll avoid it. Or it might not work and they'll cross it and eat the seeds. We're going to have to test it out. Let's set up the motion cameras for over a week and see what happens. On the first night, it didn't take long for a mouse to find the bait. It walked right over the panels. They're not turned on and electrified. And it came back and forth, continue feeding. So they don't avoid the panels. Even a rat came. At first it thought something was new, but it quickly found the bait crossed over. Again, there's no electricity. So it's just learning that these panels are new in its environment, but it did not avoid them. On the second night, I turned on the grid guard. It's now electrified. There's a slight popping noise in the background, kind of like an electric fence. The rat approached it, but it immediately knew something was up. It did not want to cross. All night long, the rat walked by and didn't want to go anywhere near the panels. Well, as soon as I plugged in the grid guard, not a single mouse or rat tried to cross over and get the bait. I left it up for over a week, and as soon as they approached it, some of them received a shock. I couldn't show that on YouTube, but it does work. Or they seemed to sense an electric field and they avoided it altogether. In my opinion, this is one of the best products out there for protecting your vehicle from rodent damage. But in full disclosure, I didn't purchase it. It can be pretty expensive at well over $1,000 for a package and the manufacturer sent me a free sample. But it's not a paid promotion. I don't make anything from this product and they didn't tell me what to say. They wanted my honest opinion and that is this is a great product that you may want to invest in. A lot of vehicles nowadays are coating their wires with a soy based product and that's inviting rodents to climb in and chew on it. So for some people this may be a great option. I usually post videos on mouse and rat traps but sometimes I branch out for other rodent related products. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to keep away or catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.